<clears throat> so I'm going to talk today about a MongoDB API uh, to Allegro Graph. Um, and then in our next webcast, I'll actually talk about how we uh, also integrate with uh, Apache Solar. I might show a little bit about that today, but today it's mostly focused on uh, Mongo Graph. So what I'm going to do is I um, I will jump <coughs> into Allegro Graph WebView. This is our web interface to the Triple Store, and um, it's let me just do one one query. Uh, Obama love hate same committee so it's opening the triple store right now let me then execute it um, okay so the database would open if I now execute it Let's see where it's still anyway so what we have here is a database um, with uh, information spidered about politicians so every day we spider all the information that we can get on the web on the politicians in the US and then we link the names of the politicians to um, other information about these people like uh, on the committees that they are and, and um, all the text also goes in solar so I can do queries like find every text every person where the text has the word Obama and health and care and in the text, there's two people that are not the same that are on the same committee. Yeah, and you get uh, you can do queries like that. So you get a feel for the data we have in there. But let's go to the JavaScript. So we have one uh, menu item script here, script here, and I can just say, for example, store dot size, and I run it, and I get that the six uh, six hundred thousand triples in this database. I can say store get triples, um, and if I don't spe specify anything, I get the first, what is it, 100 or 1,000 triples back from the triple store. Um, so this is all simple. Um, I could take this thing here, and I say, um, oops, Nokia null, type here. Null, null. I can run this, and I get all the triples about, say, Nokia at this point. Yeah. So some little JavaScript. Something more complicated would be. Um, well, let me take a step back. Say, you want to get all the unique predicates for a particular class. Now, obviously, you could write that in Sparkle. Yeah. So I have this query already. Yeah. So you just say in Sparkle select distinct p where the S has the type person, and then give me all uh, predicate objects, and ultimately you get the unique uh, predicates. Yeah, and I execute it, and there it is. Um, but say you wanted to do the same thing in JavaScript, and maybe only look at the first 10 instances of a particular class, then you would have a JavaScript procedure like this. I load it. So here you say, uh, find predicates. Um, you first make a map. Uh, this, this the UPI a hash table that I talked about, and then you say, give me for all the triples uh, of uh, IDF type, and then uh, CLS. And then for each triple that I find of this particular class, give me all the give me all the uh, uh, for for each subject of those triples, um, give me all the triples again. And then add to the map the the, the 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 mapping from triple predicate to true, yeah. And then finally we turn the keys of this map. And then in the same thing we also def we just try it out for say person and I do run, and here I get the results. Um, now here you see what I talked about earlier in the um, in the slides. I can define the server, yeah. And for find predicates on a get procedure with a CLS, so I can run this. And now, if I type here, um, short custom find. Oh, here it is already. Find predicates, and here I would get a JSON object back um, with all the predicates for this particular site for this particular class. Okay, so this about programming in JavaScript in Allegro Graph. And so let me 
let me demonstrate some Mongo. Um, let's see, let's go back here. And the first thing I will do is I will open uh, what I call the webcast demo. It will take a few seconds to set up the database. It's there. There were already some triples in there, so I'll delete the statements. And uh, OK, I'll delete all the statements. Yes, I want to delete all the triples in the triple store. OK, so now they are deleted. Let me do um, let me do some Mongo. So let me begin with the most simple thing. I can say um, add basic. And so here I uh, say store.store1.save. This is the way to uh, save objects. Is name is bar and uh, Bas is another structure with another deep structure inside, and he has another structure uh, completely different from the first one. And then finally, I do a commit. Yeah, so I can run this. Nothing spectacular happens. But now say I want to find all the objects back where uh, the name is Jans. So I have another script for that because I don't want to type it all in. So. Yeah, this is the simple way to find everything. This is the, for the MongoDB people. You specify a small JSON pattern, and then it will match against the database. So I run this, and I get the results. Um, well, random data in the name Jans. I actually could click on this, and I go deeper and deeper. Yeah, so this is something simple. Now let's do something where we show how you can do something that you can't that easily do in MongoDB. Let's take... Um, Let's add a graph to the database. Yes, so I say find no um, add a call ring. So what I say do is I um, because we we use uh, a Lego graph a lot in telecom, so we're kind of familiar with all the uh, the graph search that you can do in the telecom database. But here, just to make things simple, I have a very simple way to specify a little uh, graph. I say Alice calls Bob, and Bob calls Bill, and Bill calls Greg, and Greg calls Alice, and then I commit the triples. Yeah, so I, I run this, so now I have a bunch of, um, uh, well, I have a small uh, uh, social network in the database, small as possible, I guess, almost. And now let's, do, let's, now let's define a rule to make it easy to, to work with this graph. So I make a rule that says, a calls B if in the triple store there's an object with the name A and the same object has also a predicate calls with the name B. Yeah, so now I can run this one. So now I have a result. Uh, so now I have a rule called calls. Now let's use it. Yeah, I could say Alice calls who? And this is the most simple way to use it. I say find every B where calls Alice B. Yeah, and I run this. And we see that Alice calls Bob. Yeah, and now something more complicated. We say um, find a call ring from Alice. So now this is something you wouldn't do easily. Yeah, this is a, this is a join where you say select A, B, C, where Alice calls A, and A calls B, and B calls C, and C calls Alice. Yeah, and I can run this one, and we see Bob. Uh, Alice called Bob. Bob called Bill. Bill called Greg, and Greg called Alice. Yeah, so here you see this result. Um, so, and then maybe look a little bit of the triples that we have. So, so far, so I can say uh, again, S is part from long. So I make a, a triple part from the, the integer three. I take one for name, and then I say store get triples sp null null. So give me all the triples where the ID of the, of the JSON object is three and the predicate is name and I can run and I get zero results so let me take out this only let look at the name and we do run ah we see that for example 37 has name so let me take 37 here and let me try again with s now when I run I get name Alice out of the triple store yes yeah, so I'm just doing this a little bit interactively just to see how you can play with uh, JavaScript and see the results all at the same time. So the fun part is you are with JavaScript in the database and you can do whatever you want to do.
all at the same time. 